What would happen if you put pupils in charge of improving their schools? The Sorrel Foundation's Joined Up Design for Schools is an initiative that does just that. It explores how good design can improve the quality of life in schools by listening to the voices of the people who use the schools most, the pupils. All over the UK, schools became involved with the project. Pupils became the clients and were put in the driving seat, deciding on what needed improving in their own schools and briefing the designers who were matched with them. This programme will follow the process of joined up design for schools. The challenge, the brief, the conversation, the concept. In many cases, and in all six programmes in this series, there was a fifth stage, the follow-up. The job actually got done. In each participating school, client teams of students were challenged to identify a problem within their school that they would like solved. Summerhill School in Birmingham was moving to new premises and the students were concerned about the dreary appearance of their new breeze block school. Our project is to design loads of new signposts so that when people enter the school they know exactly where they're going and these are the designers that are going to help us. Hello, Andy from GTF. David from GTF and we are here to solve the problems. Yeah. We found out there's just going to be blue and breeze blocks and we thought oh, it would just look like a jail kind of thing every day. Just get off and go to school. So <laughs> We were given basically the basic outline that the walls be breeze blocks. We had a basic colour scheme and we wanted something which would work around that, make the school more colourful, vibrant, uplifting place to work in. The kids there not had a lot of consultation in the actual building and I think, I don't know, maybe they had a bit of trepidation that it's, I guess they're all sort of Everyone's going to be a new kid on the block sort of thing in this new building. So, so the signage does one function, it, it settles everyone into the place. But also I think this is a way to bring a bit of... A bit of character into the school, yeah, I think. Of... That was their the, the main driving point. The client team created a brief and presented it to GTF. This is where we need signs outside the school telling visitors where they are. There also needs to be signs pointing to the direction of each department. A sign to signify what part of the building you are in, e.g. languages. And perhaps signs to signify what corridor you're in, e.g. Science Street or IT Highway. That's good. <laughs> the team had already conducted a survey to find out what the other students in the school wanted and discovered that to most students, the concept of the school was one of a series of streets. So their initial idea was to use street signs. If you've got yourself into the wrong department, say humanities, how would you to know where to get to the other one? So like street signs which actually show the arrows pointing to the right yeah. sections that you can look at. But they also wanted to be sure to leave a legacy to the school. When we go into the school, we'll be in our last year. So it's important that we do something that can be modern and as beneficial to us as the new people coming to the school. They created a series of mood boards for Andy and David. Their brief was specific and insisted that the signage was multilingual, reflecting the school's specialist status as a language college. The client team wanted the signs to project the school's character. They wanted the signs colour-coded for different departments and they wanted them in a range of sizes. The colours are used on signs like you've all experienced for certain practical reasons. So you go into a hospital and say, accident and emergencies in red and that's done obviously as an information thing so you don't even have to read the sign you know you're in a panic you want to get to accident and emergency you're just looking for the red sign so you get color use as a tool in graphics but then also you can get color just used for the joy of it the conversation between the designers and the client team is at the heart of joined up design for schools Andy and David took the client team on an inspirational visit to the Design Museum in London to look at some of their signage. After wandering round, Andy and David presented their first design ideas to the pupils. They discussed using street furniture. I'm going to create things like park benches and things like that, and it'd be good if you could start thinking about maybe, maybe there's some great things that you sit on on the park and you see like bins and things like that you could bring into your school. The scale and robustness of something like the bus stops. And it, it, with things like the bus stops, I mean, they make these cases that normally hold bus timetables, but there's no reason they can't hold 
a map, a plan. There's no reason why they can't. And the impact of street signs. I got in touch with people who make the road paint. And I said, is it possible to roll it out on a carpet inside? And you can even have like double yellow line areas straight onto the carpet. Maybe there's sort of no stopping zone. I think zone. Really good because um, in our corridors at moment, you should keep to the left or keep to the right. And I think... So have a centre, centre lane. Yeah. And if we have yeah. street signs and the fact that there's yellow lines, I think that would be really good. Right, so that's something we might They explored know. different ways of using signage as a means of getting colour into the corridors. You can ask us to do things with colours, you can ask us advice, I mean, that's what we're there for. And they introduced the idea of huge stencils on the walls. You can actually have stencils made yeah. so that you use them, you then go and store them, and then if you have to repaint the corridor, you can get them out again. I mean, there's no reason why over the toilet doors you don't have big, massive, full-sized men and big, massive, full-sized women, you know what it's like? I think it's good that we've being said we can't have a say in the main colour scheme, the walls and the floor, so we're doing the next best thing and putting as much colour as we can on onto right. the wall. After talking with and listening to the client team, Andy and David developed a giant sign system using bold colours painted directly onto the walls. They had started with a different idea. We initially started with, I guess, quite a lot of information on the ground floor, you know, where you find out you know, the subject you're after, which floor it's on, which way you go. Things like stairwells where you come off a floor and gone somewhere, it's always going to be a bit of a point of indecision of where you go. So from that, we're just trying to move it out of that exact spot. It's something that I, was, well, I found when I was looking at these things when you mentioned that, but the stairwells, are, just because I was so close to it, it was something I'd completely missed. You wouldn't want 40 people stand at the bottom of a set of stairs, <laughs> finding out exactly where they're going to go. And that's why the clients as well, and that's why it have been so good. So a really easy to follow system was created. When in June 2003, Summerhill School moved to new premises, the breeze block walls proudly bore great big stenciled signage inspired by the client team. My name's Connor and welcome to Summerhill. I've sort of learned my um, way. I learned it in a couple of days. Like, you know where you are because it's got languages on the wall. Humanities is on the second floor, what's up there? And English is that way. We are coming into the music department and as we know this because we have a gigantic music on the wall. Um, I found it them really clear, I find them really clear and bold and they like colour coded, so like maths is orange, music is purple, and science is green. The first say, for instance, two days I was here, I was finding it really difficult to get around. But when I started taking notice of the signs, I was rounding a jiggle. <laughs> the school got a new signage system, but what did everyone in the project take away with them? The pupil client team, as it were, what they got out of it was the feeling that they were being listened to and we genuinely listened to what they wanted for their new school and the results, well the results are there on the wall you can see behind me. Because we're like graphics group in a graphic group, it's made us look more carefully at the way we design it. Like if you get, because you know that you like ideas and you like produce it and like develop it more, it's made it much easier. Like you look at different aspects of like what you're doing. Yeah, things like colours <coughs> and the sizes of things in consideration. Something where you think, well, there's not a lot we can do with this. If you really look into it, then the there model, is yeah. there's a solution to most problems. 